Hello students and family members. Today, let's learn lattice multiplication. Lattice itself is called lattice because it looks like lattice that you may have by your house or at a neighbor's house. Lattice is just woodworking that goes on the outside of a deck that can kind of shield things that you don't necessarily want people to see. Lattice and multiplication, however, looks something like this. And today I'm going to teach you how to use it. To so let's take an example like 94 multiplied by 3. This is an appropriate lattice board. In other words, it's step one. Let's turn back to those steps. Step one is creating an appropriate lattice board. So in this case, because I have a two-digit number, I have to have a rectangular box, which the students are allowed to use lined paper form. We showed them how to use that here in school to create a rectangular box separated by two different squares. Then each of those squares have a diagonal going right through the middle of it, and those diagonal lines extend far beyond the actual interior or inside of the box. You have a number on top of one box, and then another number on top of the other box, and the number that you're multiplying by on the outside of the box. Then we multiply and fill in each of these answers. What we also tell the students to do is make sure you're using those flexible math strategies that we discussed before we start this unit of multiplication to make sure that you are accurate with your math facts. So I personally like the three skip counting song, and I'm going to do that on my four touch points. Three, six, nine, twelve, and then I stop, and I put a twelve inside that first lattice box. Notice that I put the one in this triangle and the two in the bottom triangle. I'm currently doing step two. Multiply the numbers on top of the box, in this case the four, to the number on the right of the box, and that's the three. Now I do nine times three. Let's use the three skip counting song again on the nine touch points. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven. Then I stop, and I write my two in the upper left hand triangle and my seven in the bottom right. Now once all of the boxes are filled in you add diagonally. This is where the students should be tilting their head because they need to see this is the ones category right here. And right here in the middle is the tens category and finally the hundreds category. Now that I've pulled them all out I'm ready to complete steps three which is to add everything together in the correct place value categories. So in this case, 2 is being added to nothing. Keep in mind that I'm adding only the stuff on the inside of the box, so I don't worry about the outside anymore, which means the 2 just gets dropped right there into my answer. Now I'm doing 7 plus 1. Notice that I added a little plus mark here, so I'm reminding myself to add, which is 8, and I keep that in my 10s category. And finally, my 100s also drops down to 2, which gives me the final answer of 280. Two. We're also trying to get the students to rewrite the answer in a box so that they get used to taking it out of the lattice and placing it in the correct spot. Let's do another example, but let's make it a little bit more difficult than a two digit by a one digit. In this example, you'll notice I have a three digit number, 812, multiplied by three. Step one, create an appropriate lattice board. That means I need not one box, not just two boxes, but I need three boxes to make sure that I have enough boxes to represent this entire three digit number and then one box going down the side because we are multiplying by a one digit number and then I create my diagonals I always like to start by putting the interior of the diagonal first and then stretching it out later sometimes if you don't do that it could become a little bit more difficult and again we can use lined paper for this to help us and now that we've created the appropriate lattice box, we're ready for step two. Step two says multiply the numbers on top of the box, the eight, one, and two, by the number on the right side of the box. Again, I'm lucky because here's my three, and I like skip counting by three. So let's go ahead and do that. First, I'm going to do the three times the two. Three, six, I'm done. Now, because it is a single digit number, that doesn't mean that I can just put one digit in these boxes. I have to fill every single box, so this is zero, and this is 6. Then 3 times 1 is 3, so it's 0, 3. And then I skip count by 3 on my 8 touch points to solve 8 times 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 
21, 24, 8, 16, 24. Got it. 8 times 3 is 24. And by skip counting, I was able to solve that problem. Now, I'm ready for step 3. I'm going to use my highlighter and pull out the 1s, the 10s, the 100s, and in this answer, I also have a digit in the 1000s. Now I'm going to change the interior so I know that I am no longer dividing, but I am actually multiplying. So in order to do that, wherever I see multi-digit numbers like a 3 and a 0, I'm going to separate it on the line with a plus sign, and now I'm ready to drag my answer out. In the 1's category, I have nothing more than a 6, so I bring out my 6. 3 plus 0 is 3, so I bring down my 3. 4 plus 0 is 4, I bring down my 4. 2 is in the thousands, and there's my answer. 2,000. 436, and I put it in a box. Using Lattice, my touch points and flexible math strategies will get me the answer all the time. Let me show you one more to make sure that you have seen multiple lattice boards and how it all works the exact same way. In this example, you can see I need a totally different but still appropriate lattice box because this is always step one. In this case, I have a two-digit number multiplying by a two-digit number. So I need two digits on the top of the box and two digits on the side of the box. I still separate every single box with these diagonals. You still have to be very careful, though, because if you misstep creating step one, then you could get the answer wrong, even if you multiply correctly. Like anything with math, take your time and make sure it's accurate. 38 times 6, I'm ready for step 2. Multiply the numbers on top of the box by the numbers to the right of the box. I multiply the top with the side here, which is 6 times 8, then 6 times 3. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, I'm done. Put 48 inside my lattice box. 6, 12, 18, then I stop and put 18 inside my lattice box. Notice how I'm using different songs and different touch points. That's using flexible math strategies. I don't even need to sing songs. If I like skip counting by two, I can do that on the eight touch points. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. And place that answer down here. You have to make sure that they're in the correct place values, which means if I multiply the 8 by the 2, I slide it right here in the 1s and 10s category. Now I multiply 3 times 2, which 3, 6, I put 0, 6. I'm ready for step 3. First, let me highlight the 1s, highlight the 10s, highlight the 100s, and highlight the 1000s place value. Now, I'm going to make the addition stand out a little bit more. I'm going to add 8 plus 4 plus 0 eventually, and 6 plus 1 plus 8. But, like with any addition or subtraction, I start in the 1s category, which is all the way over here. 6 is in the 1s. 6 plus 1 is 7. Now, this is where you can also use your touch points to add 7 plus 8. Start at 6, then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Because I have to carry, I'm going to add a plus. My 1 from the 15 goes into the thousands. I'm sorry, the hundreds. And then my 5 from the 15 drops down into the tens. I'm still using touch points to add accurately. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 1 is 13. Carry my 1. Bring down my three. And finally, one touch point plus one touch point is always two. So in this case, my final answer is 2,356. And I put it into a box. So as long as you remember these three steps, create an appropriate lattice board, multiply the numbers on top by the numbers on the right, and then add, you're good to go. Create the lattice boards and multiply accurately using flexible math strategies. Be sure to check out future videos to try this out with worksheets on Mr. Panza's website. Hope this helps.